Hello guys, so I'm back and I'm very much a healthy citizen in this uh, in this household. So uh, today it's a Monday and because I haven't done that much over the weekend because obviously I was still just making sure that I was recovered and well. So I'm just doing an hour today, relatively easy. And this evening I'm going to be doing a deadlift session. I absolutely waste my legs by pumping iron. So uh, that'll be fun. Actually sunny, it's amazing. Five hours later. X go give it to you. Wait for you to get it on your own. X go deliver to you. I want to debunk the myth that you can't actually do scrambled egg in the microwave. So here's what you do. You you, you put five eggs in here, as I've done. Then you, uh, you mix it up, and then you put it in the microwave for one minute. Then it'll go on the edges, and you just have to sort of mash it up and mix it around a bit more. And watch, let me show you. Let me show you. And then you do it for 30 seconds after that, you mix it again. And you incrementally do it 30 seconds at a time, mix it. And then you go down to 20 seconds at a time, mix it. And watch. Watch me make perfect scrambled egg from the microwave, okay? So I uh, just cooked it for the second time, dropped some pepper in there, now I dropped some spinach in there because spinach makes it look pro. That's a pro tip, just drop some spinach in the scrambled egg and it makes it look pro, just, just you wait. Who says you can't make scrambled egg in a microwave? You've got to make sure you mix it and mash it with the fork in between the cooking. Bob's your uncle and the no pots and pans is in a bowl. Honestly, why wouldn't you? A good, a good 20 grams of protein. Just what you need after a good strength workout. 24 hours later. Uh, long story short, I'm really late for the, the group ride I'm about to go on. It's gonna rain. It's like nine degrees, so I'm wearing the wetsuit. Scuba Pro. And uh, hopefully, I won't die. But I'm not, I'm not feeling a three hours of ride today. I'm just not feeling it, okay? So, I gotta go, because I'm late. <laughs> back from the ride and uh, I'm not gonna lie I'm a little bit it said it was gonna rain and it was gonna be nine degrees I bought all my warm stuff and it was all right actually it didn't rain for the first three hours I was like this is absolutely perfect but in the last hour it rained and it got cold and I'm freezing so now I'm about to jump in the shower and be in the shower for a good half hour because I'm absolutely very cold very very cold I've somewhat warmed up now. I've had me some fish cakes getting that Omega-3 because that's how you stay healthy and not get ill like I did. Anyway, so now that I've hit a thousand subscribers, I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone who subscribed, liked, commented, all of that. I appreciate every comment. Seriously, I really do. And I, I really love the support. And it's honestly given me a lot of motivation coming into this winter and just to make more videos. So, uh... To celebrate that, I'm gonna do the obligatory 1,000 subscriber Q&A. So if you just at me on Twitter with your question or leave it in the comments, it can be any question, doesn't have to be specifically to do with cycling. And uh, yeah, I'll make a video soon answering those questions. Anyway, that's gonna be the end of the video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. We gotta hit 2K soon, so peace.